Sponsored by St. Elizabeth Healthcare. Now, if you're trying to improve your health, you might want to change how you snack. Health anchor Liz Bonus joins us now with what experts recommend you eat in between those meals. Liz? Hey guys, good afternoon once again. Snacking, a great way to get some good nutrition into your day and help maintain your energy levels. But the weight management experts at St. Elizabeth Healthcare say a snack is not a meal and you do need to know the difference. That's a portion controlled way to indulge in a food that you really love without letting it get out of hand. Kara Stanley is a registered dietitian who says a snack, as her food models show, is a small amount of food that's no more than 200 calories. And while you commonly think of snacks as taboo if you are watching your weight, she says that's not the case. Instead, it is better for you to plan for a snack. Really the secret is in the pairing too, so if you're going to have a snack, choose a healthy fruit or a vegetable, but pair that with maybe a low-fat cheese or um, have an apple and maybe a tablespoon of almond butter or peanut butter so that you have that um, more uh, filling snack. The pairing, she says, gives balance that helps keep you from getting hungry again right away. You want that balance because our bodies are designed to run on carbohydrates, but it takes longer for us to break down proteins and fats. So not only do they make the snack taste better, but they also help to keep you fuller in the long run. Okay, I got some snacks I bet you've never had. Barbecue flavor, pizza flavor, uh, just one sour cream and onion, and sea salt. What's your pleasure? Sea salt. Okay. We're, we're supposed to eat these snacks? Yes. Okay, so these are things, that, it says RASE, but it's actually rice buddy. And oh, wait, it's a sour cream and onion in it too. Flavor. So you're not going to want to sit next to me. Oh, wait, this is a sea salt. That I was going to say. Okay, sorry. I have the sour cream and onion. Okay, so what are. This is a whole grain snack. And you heard her say, like, get a cracker and cheese. You get something with it. They're a rice version, sort of a wheat thins. Oh, boy. New to the market. A lot of people doing the non gluten thing and all the rest of that. You can get them now, you know, same uh, way you would other snack foods, just not potato chips. Whole. Uh, None of the stuff that you get that usually kind of lends to, I can't stop eating the potato chips. So, so here's my question. I've never had these before and I share an office with you. I own <laughs> Well, I was waiting to unveil. They just came out. Uh, and so they said, okay. calories. Yeah, They're very and three good. grams of fat. Just one example now how a lot of the things have gotten better. This is 170 calories. That's what a snack should be, less than 200. She points out this is gonna have not much protein, Need some carbohydrate, might want to have a few of these and some cheese or a little of this and some peanut butter. Yeah. That's the ideal snack. You do need There's cheese with it. There's a lot of crackers in here. I know, for 170, 170 calories. Can Wait, I, yeah. I'll pour them out. That, that, yeah. <laughs> that's well a lot. That's a lot I know, that's, that's. I don't know whether I'd make it through a whole bag of these in there. Right, yeah, snack. no, that's, really? that's a good yeah. thing. Yeah. You I'll can get the these uh, online, <laughs> Rise Buddies or Rice Buddy, however you want to say it, or you can buy them now in some of the natural food areas of grocery stores. All right, cool. All right. better. Oh, thanks. Mm. I agree. It needs a little flavor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're all good. We're back at six to uh, talk to you about beating breast cancer. Thanks for trying. Sounds good. Thanks, Liz.